the season of releases continues, and I will continue unabated to provide you with this content. What's up, Internet? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Kid of the Week. I can't keep up with everything that's being released right now. Although, this time around, I'm going to cut it as short as possible. Because based on the numbers of the last video, eh, you didn't really watch that video. And you also didn't finish it. So, this week, short and sweet, let's have some fun. First off, I'm sorry we're hitting Specialized again, but these companies, they keep releasing stuff, uh, and some of it looks really good. So, Specialized just released the Sagan collection. I think this is the third collection of Sagan products. Uh, this one is called Chasing Rainbows, and there is Peter Sagan himself in what looks like to be a art project full of rainbow colors. Shop the collection. His literal essence is rainbow now. So that's like, I think that's what they're going for here. Some of the cool things that I'm seeing in here, man, I'm not really interested in the bench. Um, let's not even look at that. Tarmac disc, not so bad. I think what I like seeing in here is a lot of the opalescence and the real reflective stuff going over here. They're calling these, they're calling this overexposed. I think there's another one that they did that was called underexposed. Aside from like that reflective coloring in the, the logos, there's yeah, this one's not screaming at me. We'll take a look at the jerseys. Again, you know, real minimal looking, uh, yeah, there's the unexposed. This is the overexposed. It's real minimal. Always a lot more can be done here. The Venge frame set though, the War Hans Grove frame set, that's definitely a little bit more interesting. You can definitely see more of the, the rainbow opalescence inside of it. Shoes, uh, I will say these are pretty sick. Uh, I like the, the coloring here. It almost looks like a pheasant. The white's kind of cool, but you don't often see the black in that in that kind of color, shiny looking thing going on here. Yeah, it's like pheasant or like the inside of like a, an oyster shell. I'm reaching here. I mean, those are the standout things that I see from that. I mean, that was interesting, but it's not like, it's not like hit me over the head kind of interesting. Holy crap, where is the f Jeez. All right, it also looks like Rafa finally released their shoes. I have to say these are pretty sick looking. Um, they did release both a road with that kind of rubberized bottom uh, shoe, as well as a series of kind of mountain bike, you know, full on gravel mixed terrain shoes. Super simple. I mean, just like variations of what they've been putting out for a while now. But yeah, I mean, I, I like the simplicity of them. Uh, too funny, the Explorer shoes here also have that same colorway that I was just remarking about on the Sagan shoes. You got regular black, kind of a gray, what is that, dark green? That doesn't look like dark green. And full on pink, Rafa pink, high vis pink uh, with, the, with the strap band. Those look pretty cool. Moving on. So trying to catch up a little bit here. Uh, this was released uh, a few weeks ago, um, probably at the beginning of the month. This is the, I'm sure you're all familiar with Attacker or Ateki, however you want to say it. This is one of their limited edition releases. And this one's called Nouveau Riche. So, you know, lots of stuff dealing with Gucci, Chanel. I thought that these were pretty cool. Some of these are, I mean, they're at least different. I mean, you've seen some of this stuff before. I mean, it's all kind of rehashed. It just depends on who does it and whether or not they take it up a couple notches and make it look good. I thought that this looked good. I'm guessing this is a uh, Versace. Is that Versace? I don't know. I don't know my fashion brands. I'm so sorry. I mean, that's interesting. I just don't think I would wear it. The camo is okay. I think it's it's a little, man, it's actually, it's, I don't know if I would wear that. It's a little too much. Digging the, definitely digging the polka dots. Those are cool. But yeah, that was released a little while ago. And then as I was kind of cruising through the website, I came upon something that was released I think like in December. This is a little mashup between my art past. Basquiat was definitely a huge influence on how he treated the canvas and what his subject matter was. You know, all of those things. Mark making, everything that I was really concerned about. This one is, um, these look like they're officially licensed with the uh, the estate of Basquiat. So that's really cool that they're doing this. But man, that is sick, man. That really does look like some of my painting stuff, man. But yeah, that one's sold out. But this black one, the black and white one, that one is still has I think has some uh, some stock left and honestly as much as I like the colors I'm a bigger fan of just a straight white kind of chalk on uh, the blackboard looking design here so moving on let's take a look at seven mesh has just released some of their gravel collection for this upcoming year they make some pretty amazing let me get rid of this little chat window they make some pretty amazing outdoor like extreme weather gear um, but they also do a lot of uh, things for riding in the summer uh, they did their photo shoot in Arizona showing off some of their product here. This is the women's shorts and they use this. I mean, that's the uh, the women's colorway and that's the Henley. In terms of the names of these products, I should have had this up. Um, give me a second. So that short was the far side. You know, a basic short that's designed to be usable on the bike. It has the normal four-way stretch. They've also released, I may be wrong, is this maybe, I mean, Mark III, uh, I guess is the, the third version of this. I haven't had a chance to try any of their bib shorts. I've heard a couple things about how they fit, but like I said, I haven't had a chance to try them out. Uh, I mean, there's some cool stuff there. I mean, the, the, 
the line is designed to be extremely minimal. You can tell that the colors, they are uh, very muted, organic looking colors. I mean, I don't know if that's the word for it, but you know, it's not like punch you in the face, high vis stuff. They're very toned down in their, in their style. So if you're looking for something that's like, it's not screaming that you are riding cycling clothing, this might be something to take a look at. Yeah, you can tell by all the colors. It's, they're definitely influenced by the outdoor industry. So that was seven mesh. And then uh, something on um, Tweaking 101, Anthony's Instagram popped up and the, the Squid Bikes is sponsored by Bell. Their main helmet being the Z20. The, the Z20 looks actually look pretty good. It's got a pretty decent style. It's super aggressive looking. I think I kind of like the way, that it, the way that it sits. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like, it just looks, it just looks angry. Although I will say, I just, I don't understand why they don't have a full frontal shot of the helmet, which is like one of the most important things when you're looking at a helmet is how it looks from the front. Anyway, $230, um, you know, kind of, eh, that's not, I mean, that's, that's normal for an, uh, the high-end helmet. And lastly, it, but certainly not least. In the last episode, I wanted you guys to create your own custom kit through using the Rafa custom kit generator. Uh, you guys, that went abysmally bad. Despite a large majority of you having lots of opinions on the way kits look, uh, especially the protein kits and what you would do differently, only one actually sent me one in. What is wrong with you guys? I mean, granted, not a lot of you watched the video. So I can't fault you for not seeing the video. I don't understand why you're not watching the videos. You need to watch the videos. Regardless, Monster Riffs on Instagram, also with Team BBC here in the local area. And he produced a, this is like their chill out jersey. I think that's what he was saying. Real nice and understated. They're usually, well, they're known for their kits being like really over the top, you know, with these colors being punching you in the face, which is fun for, you know, it's easy to recognize all of them in, on the course. I think that looks pretty awesome. So thank you, Alex, for participating in my experiment. Anyway, that's enough for today. If you like the video, you know what to do. Wait, sorry, one more thing. I'm starting to put all these up on a Pinterest board. Yes, Pinterest, I know. I get a lot of views on Pinterest. I get more views on Pinterest than I get on these videos. But regardless, I'm putting the products that I review and talk about up here on there, as well as also constantly posting to the essential kits. So I picked that back up if you're interested in that. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.